What's up guys? How you doing? How you doing? So it is the end of March and I noticed the last Yo Audible I uploaded was in November. That's fucking horrible. That is really bad. What are you guys thinking? You guys are down with me making a Yo Audible once a month? Or more or less. What do you guys think? For those of you that don't know, Yo Audible is just a series that I have where uh, people on Facebook and YouTube and Twitter um, can ask me questions and I just answer them. Um, pretty original idea, right? Nobody does this. No one on YouTube came up with this idea before me. I was the originator. That was a joke. <clears throat> so yeah, if you guys have any questions for me, feel free to write them on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. You can even send them to me to my email, audible484 at gmail.com. Uh, if you guys want it to be like anonymous or whatever, I don't know. So, uh, let's just jump right in to the questions, I guess. I feel lame every time I say jump right in. I feel like Brian Gumpel or like some lame ass newscaster or some shit. Anyways, first question from Venecita Bray. You're planning to have a girlfriend any soon? Yes and no. I'm not planning to have a girlfriend and I am planning to have a girlfriend sometime soon. I don't know. Honestly, I'm really not. Like that's... Not really at all. I'm so used to not having a girlfriend. And I know when you have a girlfriend, you know, you have to offer them things, you have to give them things, you know, have to pay for like dates and fucking gay shit and fucking like, you know, lame shit and fucking like hotel room. Well, not hotel room. See, I'm so used to being single. <laughs> I'm so used to being single, I forgot that you don't offer girlfriends hotel rooms unless you're, you know, maybe like a suite, maybe, but... See, I'm so used to being single, I just don't give a fuck anymore. I'm just used to it already. I'm happy with where I'm at right now in life, you know? A big reason why I don't want a girlfriend or don't haven't had one is because I don't have anything to offer a girlfriend. Like I said, I don't have money financially to... to offer a girl. I don't have the time. I don't have the energy. I don't even have the wants, really. Like, I'm cool with the friends I have and... You know, I'm good. Though, I have tweeted about it, like, I do kind of miss, you know, the feeling of knowing that there's another person in the world that is only connected to you and shares that connection only with you. Like, she doesn't give her vagina away and her feelings and love and shit like that. But, you know, that, that feeling comes with a lot of other fucking bullshit, so I'm like, I'm good. Can't we just be friends? You know, we should be friends, girl. Second question from Marco Rojas. Yo, Audible, how's it going with your saving up money for a car and not having to smoke weed? Uh, first off, I never said I was not going to smoke weed. Like, I've smoked weed. I'm still smoking weed. I love marijuana. It's beautiful. Uh, I just haven't spent my money out of my pocket on weed. You know, I have a lot of friends who like to pick up, smoke me out. You know, every once in a while, I'll put like $5, $4 in, you know, just to smoke a little bit for the day. I'm not buying like eighths and quarters like I was, you know? But how's it going? It's going. Uh, it's odd, you know? A lot of the time, I, I mean, I get stressed out a lot. Like, I'm a very stressful person, depressful, depressing person. I'm not really depressing, but I get depressed and stressed out very easily. And a lot of the time I smoke weed to get over it, you know? And now that I'm used to having like at least a gram or so in my top drawer able to be smoked whenever I want and I don't right now. So it's, it's, it's interesting. Um, you know, I find other things to take my time up, you know, keep myself busy. So it's not too bad. Uh, I tweeted this the other day, like I'm, I'm cool with where I'm at because I know where I'm going. So, you know, I'm, I'm fine. I should have to struggle for a couple months. I should be you know, going through fucking bullshit for a couple months at least to, because in the end I'm gonna get a car, you know? Like I said this in the last video, people think you can, i just spit right there. People think you can do shit without having to do shit, which is completely wrong. In order to do shit, you have to do shit. Ruby A. Cardenas, yo audible, how many hits does it take you to get high nowadays, less or more than before? More. <laughs> I mean, I smoked almost every day for like over three years now. And, you know, you build a tolerance to it. <laughs> you definitely do. So, though there, there's times when, like, I, I won't smoke for, like, a day or something like that. And then when I do, eventually, I'll get fucking stoned as fuck. Like, now, I haven't smoked in tonight. It'll be 48 hours. So, I know the next time I do smoke, I'll get fucking toasted. 
dude. For those of you who, who are sick of having such a high tolerance and needing such, like, you almost need butter and wax to get high only, you know, relax. Something I found as being a, a daily smoker is if you wait to smoke at night, you get a lot higher. If you don't wake and bake, you don't smoke at, you know, that 2, 3, 4 p.m. stretch that, oh, you know, you need a bowl at that time. If you just get past it, wait till the sun's coming down, don't smoke all day, wait till the sun comes down, then smoke. Fucking perfection. And what's cool is you get all your shit done during the day, too. So that's my advice. <laughs> Anthony TTMG Valenzuela. Yo, Audible, what was the first song you ever recorded? Uh, my first song I ever recorded, I know everybody knows the story of how we used to like make comedy songs or parodies, and then we eventually made real music. But that was just me and Corey in the Looney Tunes or Twisted MCs, where we used to be. But my first song I ever recorded was a song called Hard to Find. And it had this this sample from Daughtry, and it says something about like, Things are hard to find, the good things in life are hard to find. Fucking horrible song. I don't know, it was okay lyrically, I guess. Like it had a good points and like cool little stories, but recorded horribly, mixed horribly, my vocals sounded like shit. I just was a horrible rapper back then. But I think it's still online if you guys wanna check that out. It's called Hard to Find. I used to have a pretty big following on MySpace, and when I uploaded that, like I had a, good amount of plays. Like, I remember I used to, like, spam myself out and people found me. But yeah, some girl made a music video for it. I think that is still online. Her name's Amy. Lily Bombardier. I fucking love your bangs. They're beautiful. Yo, Audible, would you want to be famous if Jay-Z said you can be if you join the Illuminati? Fuck yeah. I mean, that's the simplest answer I can give is fuck yes. Like, I would. Daniel Martinez, Yo Audible, do you believe our destinies are already planned out for us or do you believe we create our own? That's a question right there. See, I like questions like that. They make me think and confuse me a bit. Uh, I believe a little bit of both. Like, I think there's certain destinies that are already planned out for you. Like, I think maybe, I think Victoria, you know, that was a destiny that I, that was definitely there from the beginning because it's weird. Like, when I first seen Monica in seventh grade, Something came over me, like, it was like, whew, I just spit everywhere. It was like, for real, like some shit, like, I, I never had felt that before. It wasn't like, oh, I was so in love with her, but I knew, like, there was something about this girl. Like, what the fuck was it about this girl? Like, there was something. And now look. So, I mean, I, I don't know, I don't know, really, honestly. I, I, I don't believe in fate, fate and all that bullshit. I believe that you do create whatever the fuck you want to do. Like, if you want to do something, you'll fucking do it. And if you don't, you won't. Who fucking knows? There's so much coincidences in the world, sometimes I wonder if it's more. If I had to choose, I'd say that we create our own, and there are certain things that are already planned out. Not necessarily planned out, but destined. Planned out is like somebody planned them out. Destined is like, they're gonna happen no matter what the fuck you did anyways. And that's not because of something or someone did it, it's just because it was destined to be. Good question, man. I like that question. Ronisha Torrivio. I don't know if you're that's a black name or a Mexican name or what the fuck? It's pretty pretty though. Yo Audible, how did you get through everything financially after having Victoria? Honestly, my baby's mom. <clears throat> I mean, as much bullshit as I talk about her and songs I make and how much bullshit she puts me through, like, she's a wonderful mom and she really does love my daughter. So I mean, she has done so much for her that I can't even explain, like, and especially financially. Like, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not saying that she pays for everything. Like, I pay child support and, and when she's with me, I pay for everything that she needs and, you know, every all her clothes is from me and my family, you know what I mean? I, I do what I need to do. But, especially in the beginning, I wasn't really like, I was a fucking child, you know what I mean? She grew up a lot faster than I did, so the way I got through everything financially in the beginning was because of her mom. The reason I got everything in the beginning because, like, like as far as parenting, was her mom. I just, I have a lot of recognition for Monica as far as being the mother of my daughter and raising her the right way. Yeah, so the simplest answer for that is in the beginning, Monica mostly, or only, and now Monica and my hustle mentality, as lame as that sounds, like, I really, like, I hustle all my money. Like, all the money I make is from me hustling bootleg movies or fucking, fucking YouTube videos or fucking, uh, DJing parties or something like that, you know? It's all just me making my own cash, uh, except for my security guard job. Now we're getting to the YouTube questions. Yes. 
from Mark's Legit 92. Yo, Audible, where do you? Damn, I keep spitting everywhere. <laughs> from Mark's Legit 92. Yo, Audible, will you ever go to college? <sighs> nope. I'm not the type of person who is cool with being in debt for the rest of their lives for something they don't even fucking like. I have things that are placed in front of me to where I don't have to go to college to live a happy and productive and financially stable life. And because I hate college. <laughs> I, I don't hate college, I've never been in college. I hate school. I have hated school my whole life so much. Everything about it, even down to fucking lunch. I hated lunch. I hated fucking recess. I hated everything. The thing I liked the most was whatever last period I had because it felt like, oh, finally I'm at last period. I'm about to bounce. You know what the best feeling was? When the bell rang after school and walking out and talking to your homies like, oh, I'll meet you here, meet you there, do this and that and that. That was what I liked. I hate college. I hate school. I'll never go to college. That's a lie. I'd like to learn things. There's certain things I'd like to learn. <laughs> That's a goddamn lie. I really, I really would. Not, I wouldn't go to like a four-year college just to get like a bachelor's degree or nothing like that. But I would go to like trade schools to learn certain things. I would love to be a teacher one day. I... <sighs> Excuse me. <sighs> this is from G-Man Van. Yo, Audible, me and my friend recently hypothesized that psychedelic mushrooms are placed on Earth by aliens to progress our social and mental evolution. Do you think it's a possible possibility? I do think that's a possible possibility. Though, if it is true, those aliens are fucking stupid because it didn't fucking work. It did not work. I mean, there's been psychedelics on Earth since the beginning of time, pretty much. People have just gotten fucking stupider, if anything. Like, I mean, we've gotten smarter as, like, a species. But there are so many fucking stupid people in the world. I don't feel like people are getting smarter at all. Like, at all. Like, if anything, we're getting a lot more stupider. Like, it's almost sad. Like, people are fucking retarded sometimes. Like... Ignorant, so fucking ignorant. Okay, this, this is kind of answering all religion questions, all what do you think about God and where we came from and where we go when we die and all that. That's kind of, this is kind of my, what I feel is the, has the best chance of actually being true. I feel like the thing that makes the most sense to me is that all human beings on earth are nothing but, in a sense, a big video game being played by something or someone that is much higher than us. I feel like love, sex, psychedelics, religion, control, power, sadness, they're all just things that were given to us to make us more interesting to whatever is playing us. You know what I mean? Music, sports, politics. Like you know on Grand Theft Auto you, you get certain cars and you can you, you you unlock certain bridges. Like I feel like that's what all those things are. I hope that made sense. <laughs> I do feel like psychedelics are something that are very important to mankind, but as far as right now, they haven't worked. <clears throat> There's only certain people who have learned certain things, and nothing has changed. There just needs to be a big, humongous fucking plague that needs to kill everybody. Not everybody. I think like half the people on Earth need to die. At least like three and a half billion people need to die. Then we'll be good. All right, this is the greatest question I've ever fucking gotten in any Yo Audible ever. That's this is this is this is uh, I don't know. This is from Purple Princess 1991. Yo, Audible, how would you react to finding your friend having sex with your mom? I found my friend having sex with my mom a few days back, and I did not expect it. And I just got my jacket and shoes, and I stormed out of the house, super mad, and haven't even talked to my mom or my friend since the incident. What do you think I should do? Because I am so mad at my mom and my friend, and I do not want, know what to do. Please answer me. It would mean so much to me if you did. I don't know how to answer that for you. Um, see, it's a lot different because cause you're a girl and you found your guy friend having sex with your mom. I'm a dude, and if I found a girl having sex with my dad that I brought over, I'd be like... I don't know, honestly. I Your mom is a slut. Like, your mom is a sturdy slut. Like, she's a whore. And a bitch. And your friend is a dick and an asshole. There's a lot of girls that I've talked to that I've been like, Ooh, yo mom. Mm-mm. You know, your aunt. Mm. <laughs> I've never actually thought or even like, you know what I mean? Never, like, even if it got to that point, I don't think I'd have the balls to actually do it. 
My best advice, go off on them both. Call your mom, go to her face, beat the shit out of her, go to your friend, tell him he's a dickhead, embarrass him, and then be done with it. Be fucking done with your mom, be done with your friend, move the fuck out. I mean, eventually you could obviously build a relationship with your mom if you wanted to, but that's in the future. Your mom just fucked your friend in your house. Fuck that. Fuck your mom. She's a slut. Tell her she's a slut to her face. Call your friend a bitch, embarrass him online or something, and then leave it alone. Do nothing more, because if you do, it's just gonna fuck you up more. Do nothing after that. Get your, your peace out, you know, say your bullshit, and then fucking be done with it. Best advice I could give, I guess, in that situation. At Life or W84 from Frankie Ella24. You should open a PO box. What do you guys think? You guys think I should open up a PO box? Uh, pretty much all that is is I'd have an address so that you guys can send me shit. If I did, I'd probably make it into a new series. I don't know. What do you guys think? If if I got if I got if I got a lot of comments saying that I should, I will. So, what do you guys think? Here's something that's not a question, but I really wanted to just respond to it. Here's a parenting tip: Don't smoke in front of your kid. But it's okay to, to have a beer in front of my kid, right? It's okay to smoke a cigarette in front of my kid, right? That's all I'm gonna say. From Mr. MJT39, I don't know if you have been asked this before, have you ever used a sensory deprivation tank and if so, what did you get out of it? I never have. I know there's a lot out there in Venice Beach, and I really would love to, but um, I haven't yet. And I know if I did, I would probably just smoke like a bowl. Some hash on top. <sighs> Never have, but I would love to. Have you? So yeah, guys, that was Yo Audible number eight. Uh, I'll have new ones every month or so, unless you guys want them more or less. Holler at me. You guys are awesome. Oh, I made a new track. I made a new song, a new Audible song uh, called Slowing Down. It's like a straight club slash party slash strip club with a big old ass on your dick type song <laughs> uh so if you guys are interested check that out in the description that's really it thank you guys for coming by i fucking love you guys so much you guys are all so fucking awesome yeah salute can't we just be friends you know we should be friends girl. I don't even know